Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victory and Glory Napoleon. Last time around we defeated the Spanish and one thing that I learned out in between these episodes is that you cannot attack Gibraltar. Britain will always hold that and that will always be a thorn in our eye which means that I have to leave a force here just to protect this. So I leave this force right here mostly with um, kind of poor units. You know what? Uh, do I not have a minor nation? Can I, can I do this for this? Does this work for this? No, it does not work because this is not a minor nation. Does it work for? Do I have something else consolidating the empire? Minor nation joins. Recruit in Germany. Mm, in Germany, no. So I don't really have anything to help these guys out to build, boast, bolster that army. But at least I think that's enough to deter more from attacking. I guess he can bring in more troops from um, Britain. You know what? At this point, playing the Irish Rebellion card could actually kind of work. Huh. Let's do that then. Irish Revolt. The enemy has one good unit. We have one. And then we've got Irish. You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to put this guy in the middle. Then we're going to put Irish militia all around him. Fight in the next battle. So we're going to start off. Average attack. Disarrayed. The British garrison is disarrayed. I wonder what happens if we succeed with this. Come on, Irish. You Irish bastards. Yes! Haha! <laughs> we are victorious! Irish rebellion! Thing is, I guess I cannot move the French army uh, there. Or can I? Can I move them? Incorrect move. They must have a general. So I need to move a general to Ireland. Um. But I've created a real headache for the enemy. Now I guess they're going to move these guys back to deal with them. Um, so I guess it wasn't that great of a deal to use it right now. What, what I probably should have done... Can I move a general? Or can I move more troops to like a port? Because I do... What are the rules for moving troops? Because I have a naval factor of 3. So I can move 3 units. I guess I need a army then by a port that is not blockaded by the enemy. So I guess I could go to Belgium. And from Belgium I could send a general like this guy. And two more militia units. And we could see about, you know, maybe getting the... Oh, we not, we, oh we're not going to get the Irish off the island, are we? Hmm. Um, but it, an interesting thing I did there. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, my nation joins the empire. Uh, big choice. Revolt in Spain. May be played after the French player has de declared Kingdom of Spain. The British player gains two Spanish troops in Andalusia and Catalonia. If French troops are present, a battle will be fought immediately. Uh, revolt in Andalusia. Oh shit. This is kind of a major revolt here. Bloody hell, that means Napoleon cannot return to um, return to uh, we are going to defend this region. That means Napoleon cannot return to France as intended. Right. He thinks he can crush the Irish militia. Well, at least he moved out of Spain, so he cannot, because the other, other if I, otherwise, he probably could have moved, combining these forces and actually pushed us out of Spain. Bloody Spain. I knew Spain was going to be a headache. Uh, fight the battle. Oh, you know what? I've got battle card. But it might be... Might be useless at this point. Because I'm guessing the Irish is not going to do too well. But I like the idea of the Irish rebellion. So the enemy tries to attack 
Let's see, what chance do we have? Minus three. Minus seven. Minus one. So I guess we focus in on the Highlander. Oh, this raid? Maybe I should have had the militia attack first. This raid? I think, yeah, it probably might have been better to use them first. Let's see. They shoot on the guys in square, they're definitely gonna die. Um, we're disarrayed. Minus four. Minus, minus, and minus. I guess this guy is the one that can attack. And then the others will just... Oh, I, I need to fire. Okay, we'll fire. Oh no! Why did I do that? I should have fired at the Highlander. I do mistakes like that. So we've got... We've got a lot of squares. Are they gonna square the last one as well? Okay. Uh, where can I retreat to? There's nowhere I can retreat. The other unit... There was a unit in the other... So I guess we continue fighting. If we're lucky though... We might be able to kill off the Highlander? I doubt it though, but... I mean, we could... Technically, maybe... If we're really lucky... But we're not gonna be that lucky, are we? Disarrayed... And retreated. So, futile Irish Revolt. The Irish Revolt did not last for very long. But at least, but at least the Irish got to show their colors. Oh. I think maybe this was just the same kind of mistake I did with the Navy. Um, so we're having no luck fighting the British. The British are that clever bastards, those British bastards. I'm hoping this wasn't the caused major battle because that means the enemy. Oh, so they attack in Berlin now. We will defend this region. We will commit our forces to fight you. Right. Um. Center is important. Left is important. And the right is important. And we're gonna put infantry next to all of these, and then cavalry. Infantry, infantry, infantry. And we're gonna play a battle card. So we got a ridge for artillery, woods for infantry, village for infantry, high standing crops for cavalry. We want a village. Okay, so we got. Let's see, we got. Okay. Right, so we've got a uh, a town. What was that good for? Wait, the town was good for infantry, right? Or cannons? Wait, which one was which? Uh, forest was good for infantry, at least I think, or most of it was good for infantry. Or was it good for cannons? Can I see? Combat rating is still one. Well, let's see if it changes for... Oh, yeah, it will change. So we'll, we'll, we will definitely see. Okay, so what's good for the village? Is it just an infantry then as well? Yeah, it's infantry. Um, then the plan is mostly unchanged. Just that uh, we're gonna put we can put weaker troops then. We can put the these real weak troops into the forests. Well that's gonna help a lot. Um, or I could put these guys be become really strong. And then cavalry for the center. Right, there we have it. Fight this round. So this is definitely gonna help. The enemy has a strong lineup with strong cannons. Um, 
zero, zero, minus one, plus one. Fire at the enemy artillery. Nice, disarrayed. Disarrayed. Oh, we got two shots because it's up. Uh, it's the written artillery. We got two. He gets two shots. Nice. But uh, the enemy attacked us, so we're gonna pass the initiative over to them. Continue to pass it over. Okay, so let's see. The militia, Belgian militia. I imagine it's Belgian militia. It's gonna try to attack over here. Retreat, good. What about a heavy cavalry charge? Minus. Excellent attack. Hmm. It did not go too well. Let's get these guys into square and then shoot them down with these two remaining infantry. It's the strongest infantry unit the enemy has, or had, I should say, because now it's dead. Plus three. We've got one activation left. We're going to actually use it on this side then. Crushing attack. Voltageers come out of the forest and they blast the Russians to hell. Right, the enemy's left uh, is moving up. And they charge my artillery. Disarrayed. But f it looks like this is going pretty darn nicely. Right. We'll fight in the next round. Disarrayed units hope to come back. And heavy cannon will start off by. Let's see, plus four, plus two. I don't like the fact that we've got this heavy cavalry unit right there. So I want to bombard that rather than this. Even though the chance of us defeating this wasn't as great. Plus two, minus one. Okay, I guess we'll wait here. Um. Let's see, can we force you into square? And then shoot on you? We have excellent attack, not so excellent attack. Boom! They didn't even need to fire their second shot. How about a Voltageer attack on the cavalry unit? Maybe I should have actually waited until they sent up infantry or the artillery. Um, then on this side, I guess. Not so good. Not so good. We're going to take the cavalry form then to square. And then the cannons will shoot the square. And they're defeated. And now the guys in the forest have a pretty good chance on the heavy cavalry. The Russian force is not doing well right now. We're gonna pass the initiative, see if they're gonna go ahead and uh, push forwards a bit more. I've got one point left, so at this point I need to attack. And I'm gonna use this guy to attack that one. And he's disarrayed, both of them are. Hold, god damn it. No, he retreats. And he holds. Imagine what would have happened if I put like the old guard in the forest. That would have been massive amounts of points. And since the enemy is pushing so much cannon on that side. Okay, yes. I will fight next round. We might just very well do that. There's a lot of the Russian side that is in disarray. Uh, no, we're, we're going to keep him in reserve just in case. Um, right, so which side do I really want to attack at this point? A cannon on this side. He looks dangerous. So Voltageers, I think, has a probably pretty good chance. Better than the cavalry. Yeah. So th this erase them. And makes them easier target for the cavalry to attack. Boom! And they're gone. And they're pushing another artillery piece. Um, infantry. Do you have a chance here? Um, I guess that's better than nothing. 
Disarray. Very good. Um, let's see. How about this side? Let's see. This guy has excellent attack and excellent cavalry is more dangerous for the artillery itself. So, and then we got this guy in the in the town doing an excellent attack on this guy. Let's force him into square and then have the Voltigeers attack. Oh, he's retreating. Right, then it's the center. Really don't like the uh, the enemy cavalry. Maybe I can disarray them with a cavalry attack and then bombard them. Didn't actually work like that. It work as intended. Maybe if I shoot this guy. Ah, oh, he retreated. And then we focus in our infantry on the flank. So even though I was very worried about this fight, it seems to be going pretty well. Pass the initiative to the enemy. They're sending everything in at this point. And uh, they're lacking in troops in the center. Oh, They pushed them out of the forest. They're lacking troops in the center. I keep saying this and... Uh, and I'm losing troops. Right, so they're not going to advance there, they're just going to sit there and shoot at us. Not very nice. I imagine they're going to do the same here. Uh, let's push... Ah, oh, yes, I want to fight in the next round. I keep forgetting that. We can push in extra infantry. Because it was two strong points that they managed to push us out of. So I want to see what we can do in the center first. Plus three, plus three, and I imagine plus one. Force these guys into square and then we focus on these guys, getting rid of them. With them gone, the cavalry is on their own and it's probably not gonna go too well for them. And it might even force the enemy to consider a retreat if their center is that broken, as it is right now. They probably want to move some troops over. Really don't like the fact that the uh, the artillery is there. Gonna have the Voltageers from the forest come out, shoot them. They retreat. Um, what chance do we have there? Little. It might be better to get these guys into square, even though it's a poor attack. So they are in disarray. And then we shoot these guys down. And I guess I could be advancing here. Um, but I think there's a risk. Gaining ground on them is just going to... I mean, the, um, the bombardment we will come under if we advance here is not going to be good. So we're not going to do that. Uh, or at least not yet. Uh, maybe until the entire line is ready to move up. That could be a mistake, but we'll see. I imagine that we'll be able to get through. Oh, the enemy retreats. Prepare a pursuit. Um, in we will initiate. Zero hits on both sides. It's always a gamble there. Um, the enemy withdraws in disarray and they have lost one, two, three, four, six infantry, one horseman and one cannon unit. Which is very good. And I didn't lose yak shit. So, scrub off home, Russia. Really nice work right there. So at least that, that did well for us. Um, unfortunately for me, the Spanish headache has just started, so uh, we're going to force these guys together. One thing that I noticed looking at this, and we got a point summary. The enemy gets a lot of points for having Portuguese independence. 42 points, which means that at some point I'm going to move over into Spain and claim that region. I imagine I can do that. 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, but I guess this force. Uh, Grushi, Grushi, Grushi. Yes, Grushi will come down and help me in Spain. And these guys will hold. Do I have any advent cards to upgrade any units or anything like that? Because might need that up in the north. Horse artillery. Do we have any units that could be eligible for horse artillery? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Grushi. Grushi actually has one unit that could be for horse artillery. But that's about it. And maybe it's wasteful, but I guess it's better than throwing a card away. Which we might be forced to do. So, Grouchy. Yes. And then... Yeah, there's nothing else. So, cancel. Grouchy did still get the... No? Okay, so I cannot just take one. Well, that's shit. Um... We will discard one of our cards. And we will discard minor troops in Italy. Discard. Ottoman declare if Russia is at war with France and Ottoman are not. Discard may play the French. Play against nine Ottoman units in Moldova. These troops disappear when Russia is defeated. Great Britain gains three diplomatic points. It's an interesting card. But I only gain nine units in Moldova, so it's not that much of an interesting thing. Okay, wh where are we? Berlin. We will defend the region against the enemy onslaught. So uh, Kutuzov gets a second chance of doing this. This time around, I don't have a card to play, but I s think it's going to go pretty well still. Uh, they put heavy tr heavy cavalry in the center and the left. So I guess we're gonna have to match them with uh, with some heavy stuff to make sure that they don't get through there. Voltageers, voltageers, and then we put a weak uh, weaker units in the le on the left side. There we go. We're gonna fight. We're gonna start off by trying to deny the enemy artillery the chance to move up to start off with by putting them in disarray hopefully even de uh, deleting them I mean uh, uh, forcing them back okay so they're moving some unit up we're gonna go ahead and charge force one into square get the other two to shoot him Ooh and in such a way start to reduce the numerical advantage of the Russians. I'm gonna actually hit this one as well, see what happens. Just disarrayed my unit, not so good. Pass the initiative to the enemy. I guess the enemy's just gonna s just gonna let me pass through everything. Okay, so this guy moved up. I have one shot at it and we're gonna get the Voltageers to attack. I could have used the cavalry, but I think the voltage the voltageers did very well. Voltageer unit seems to be very strong. Enemy charges my cavalry. Did not go well. They charged my artillery. Did put them at disarray. Right, fight in the next round. Come back. As many units as possible I want. Yes! Everyone came back. Very nice. Not so nice that the Russians came back though. Um, right, let's see. They're kind of weak on this side, aren't they? Plus two, plus two. Let's hit the infantry, form it into square. And then get the infantry to start shooting at them, getting rid of them that way. And then, now that they are alone, it becomes an excellent attack for the artillery. And boom! That, my friends, is how you play. That is how you play. I'm starting to learn the game. Like, in f the 16 videos into it, I actually, you know, did an excellent move. That is how you do it. Um, right, let's see if we can do something similar here. Um, plus... 
Form them into square. And then we'll get the Voltagers to attack as a crushing attack. Skirmishers attacking a square. That's not going to work out well for the Russians. The Russian attack is crumbling to the point where they don't... I mean, they have no troops forward here. They have one unit here. And um, there are three units there. So that's something at least. Uh, excellent attack because now he's on his own. And he's disarrayed. And we're going to keep pushing on to him, hopefully. Maybe defeating him. So now the enemy has moved up a lot of troops here. Uh, we really don't like the artillery. Can I bombard it? Minus one. Guess if we go with cavalry first. We really don't like the artillery. So now it's plus one. Come on. Send in these guys. Send in the voltageers as the last attack. Plus three. Mm, did not work. Right, pass the initiative. See what the enemy does. They're moving up on my left, their right. And we have some cavalry charging back and forth. They're attacking my artillery. And there we go. Right. Fight in the next round. Get back into order, men. I order you. And everyone on my side is back into order. Russian side. Uh, yes, they're also back into order. Right. I'm worried about this one. What chances do we have here? Excellent attack. Eliminated. Wonderful. Right. Uh, plus one. Plus two. Can I get the Voltageers to do an attack here? That's probably going to go well. Nice. And artillery. Plus three. Get rid of that artillery then. Yes, retreated. Good. Um, this side. Artillery versus artillery first. And once that's done, cavalry will charge. And they retreat. And now on this side. Artillery versus artillery. Followed up by cavalry. Oh, it wasn't even necessary. Excellent attack. Retreat. Nice. Kutuzov needs to rally his men at this point, I think. He's not going to be able to keep this going. If he... Uh, I guess Kutuzov has really too much artillery on his hands. Um, right. Let's see. Flank. It's probably th plus three for all. Yeah. Shooting at this one then. Oh, we were disarrayed. And then, kind of, probably would have been better to shoot at the infantry unit. Because you usually have, get you uh, get better points against attacking like that. Oh, so one unit of mine was re has retreated. But if we look at overall statistics of this battle, as far as I know at this point, I have one unit retreated while the enemy has... You know, tons. And Russia is pulling back yet again. At this time, we've got three cavalry units. Uh, initiate pursuit. Yes! Two, we score two hits. The enemy scores zero, which means they lost cavalry and one joy of victory. The battle leader, Mikhail Kutuzov, has been killed while scurrying from battle. We can hope his successor will be even less able or at least equally unlucky. Kutuzov is dead. Wonderful. This unit is the five. I think everyone in this army should be promoted because this we we killed Kutuzov, two of his cannons, two of his horsemen, four infantry units. It's going pretty well. Now it's just about dealing with the bloody Spanish headache. Um, good defensive terrain. Thank you very much. British have launched a force and are combining their forces down there. Grushi is on the way though. Are they going to attack me again? Okay. It's uh, winter. No moves. Um, 
the gorilla units. I'm not entirely sure what they do, but they probably have some nasty thing they got for them. Uh, can I move? No. Not even in Spain, apparently. Or I guess I need to be in Spain, maybe, to move. I guess Spain has snow as well. Um, did I gain any funny cards to play? I kind of want a someone. For some reason, the Austrians aren't moving out at all. And you know what? The British are doing pretty poorly as well. I could launch a really small uh, army. Do I need to... L the thing is, do we need to land in areas that have the port symbol as well? Or can you do... Uh, yes, I guess they need to. And so the the fact that they're blocking the in English channel like that means I cannot invade. Poor me. Um, it would be nice to take this, 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 everything. Um, but I'm guessing I'm going to end the video right here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.